Today we'll start our watchmaking journey by servicing and refinishing this Omega wristwatch with Omega's in-house Caliber 1020 movement that was introduced in the early 1970s and is used in many of their Genev and Seamaster models. This is a gold-filled watch which can be found in today's used market in the mid hundreds of dollars. Here's a first look at the movement. I love the coppery color of the metal, but yuck, the gasket has melted and gotten all over the place. I'm lifting up on the movement to remove it from the case rather than flipping it over because I don't want to tumble out any gasket crumbs that might be in the case. I want to remove the hand so I can take the dial off the movement. I'll reinstall the stem first so I can align the hands. A piece of clear plastic protects the dial while I use these levers to lift the hands off of the posts in the center of the watch. That should do it. And we're going to start taking apart the calendar works, starting with the day wheel. Did you notice there's the letter A between Friday and Saturday? What's that for? Let me know in the comments below. Flash forward and the entire movement is apart and ready for cleaning. If you'd like to see the entire process step by step, please follow the link to part one of this Omega Revival in the description below.